question number 43 what is screw gauge an instrument which is used to measure small lengths such as diameter of a wire thickness of a metal sheet etc it is also called micrometer screw gauge by screw gauge we can measure the diameter of the thin glass thin wire or a sphere this is the diagram of a micrometer skew gauge. Let's see a video. It's 3D video and we can understand about the construction of skew gauge. Gauge. A screw gauge is used to measure the thickness of a thin glass and the diameter of a thin wire or a small spear. It works on the principle of a screw in a nut and hence it is called screw gauge. Description Screw gauge consists of U-shaped metallic frame. To one side of this U-frame, a long hollow cylindrical tube with a nut inside it and the inner side of cylindrical nut contains a uniform thread cut in it. On the other side of U-frame, a fixed stud S1 with a plain face is attached. A screw S2 is fitted in the cylindrical nut. One side of the screw S2 has a plain face similar to that of stud S1. The faces of S1 and S2 are plain and parallel to one another. The other end of the screw S2 carries a milled head H attached to a cap C with a sloping edge. When the head H is rotated, the screw moves to and fro in the nut. The milled head H is provided with a safety device M to rotate the head H. When the object is held between the stud S1 and the screw S2 and the head H is rotated using the safety device M, it produces the crackling sound when optimum pressure is applied on the object. The outer surface of long cylindrical nut consists of a thick horizontal line P parallel to the axis of cylindrical tube. This line P is called index line. Along the index line, a scale is graduated in millimeters. This scale is called pitch scale. On the sloping edge of the cap C, a circular scale is graduated which consists of 100 or 50 equal divisions. This scale is called head scale. So, question number 44. Define pitch of the skew gauge. A thimble has a threaded spindle inside it. The distance between consecutive threads on the spindle is 1 mm. This distance is called the pitch of the screw gauge. Question number 45. Define least count of the screw gauge. The minimum distance which can be measured with the help of a screw gauge is called least count of a screw gauge. It is 0.01 mm or 0.01 cm. Question number 46. Why do we use zero correction? Zero correction is the negative of zero error. Knowing the zero error, necessary correction can be made to find the correct measurement. Question number 47. How can you find the least count of the screw gauge? For this we have the formula least count of the skew gauge is equal to pitch of skew gauge over number of divisions on circular scale. 
So if we see the pitch of the spew gauge is one millimeter and there are hundred visions on the circular scale so we divide one by one hundred and the result will come 0 0.01 millimeter or we can write it 0 0.001 centimeter. Test number 48 how can you define the zero error of the skew gauge? To find the zero error close the gap between the spindle and stud of the skew gauge if zero of circular scale does not coincide with the index line then there will be zero error. For example in this slide if we see there is no zero error because both the zeros are in the same line. Test number 49 differentiate between positive and negative error of skew gauge. Positive error zero error will be positive if zero of circular scale is behind the index line. Example in this slide such type of position of zero is called the positive zero error. Negative zero error. Zero error will be negative if zero of circular scale has crossed the index line. For example, such type of position of zeros will be called negative zero error. Question number 50. What is the least count of digital vernier caliper? Digital vernier caliper has great precision than mechanical vernier caliper. Least count of digital vernier caliper is 0 0.01 millimeter. The diagram shows the digital vernier caliper.